Hello, and welcome once again to Eddie's Rant and Rave. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and uh, you know, I guess um, some of you folks may be wondering, saying to yourselves, Eddie, what do you have to rant and rave about this time? Well, it's that time, uh, once again, that time of year, when uh, the Oscar nominations come out and everything. And once again, we have to go through this thing that we have to go through every year. We as African Americans, where there's a lack of what they call diversity, meaning that no, there's um, no black films or black directors or actors or anything nominated for anything, or very little, if anything. I don't think any. But anyway, whatever the case, we go through this every year now. Uh, Jada Pinkett made some remarks last week about boycotting the event. And I applaud her for doing that, um, but um, I don't know if that's, um, you know, first of all, how do you boycott something that you weren't invited to in the first place? Which I don't know if that's the case with her, what she was invited to, but like, um, I guess she has to do what she has to do for her own career, or whatever you want to call it, or whatever, whatever she, for whatever she's taking a stand for. Um, at the same time, she did she didn't criticize Chris Rock for refusing to host or anything. Now, her husband's former co-star, the original. Um, on the Fresh Prince show on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I think her name is Janet Hubert or something like that. Janet or Janice Hubert. Um, she came out with some pointed remarks directed toward Will and Jada. And she made some very bad remarks. She talked about how you know you can't criticize something when you're a part of the problem. Or you like a hypocrite when you criticize something when you're a part of the problem. She stated that uh, Will and Jada basically are part of that Hollywood machine that makes it possible for us to get overlooked when it comes time for the Oscars. And um, I hope I said Oscars already. I hope I didn't say Grammys. But anyway, she talked about also how uh, when Will was on the show Will's I guess was I guess Will's probably the highest paid actor because he was the star of the show, let's face it. He was the title character. Um and she talked about how when the rest of the actors were holding out trying to um or trying to hold out for more money, Will refused to participate with them. Will basically told him they need to get their own deal. He had heels. And you know, if that's the case, you know, that's just a sort of story. And like what what she, what she says does sound like bit of does sound like a bit of grace, but a sour grace, I should say, whatever the phrase, how the phrase goes. But at the same time, I think there's some validity to what she was saying. So with all that said, and all that taken into consideration, let me say this how I feel about uh, the Oscars. And the lack of diversity as they call it. First of all, I want to say to the black screenwriters and directors and uh, producers, whoever else is involved in the process that goes in deciding what films are to be made, how about let's start? How about let's start making some quality films first of all. Stop all this coonery that we see on films. Um, you know, I think most people go to the movies. I, I myself, I go to the movie because I want to escape from. Reality. I don't want to have to deal with all. Uh, I don't want to go to the movies and see the same stuff that I can see every day in my neighborhood or on the streets or wherever. I don't want to deal with have to go to the, go to the movies to see that. And let's um, you know, you you got to look at the academy. The academy is looking for a certain type of film. Now, did I see anything Oscar worthy this year or the, this past year? I saw two films that I thought should I thought um. Should have gotten a nod. That was straight out of Compton. 
I stayed out of company. I've even been out of out of company. And also, um, I filmed myself a few days ago called uh, Beast of No Nation. Both of these were excellent films, and um, I feel like, like I said, they should have gotten a nod. But let's face it, only so many films can be nominated. You think about how many films come out every year. What did they narrow it down to like? six or whatever, I don't know how many it is, but I, know, I mean it's not a great many considering how many films come out each year. That's not that's by no means letting the Academy off the hook because uh we look up the makeup the Academy, I think it says something like that. The Academy is like eighty eight percent white people. I think most of those are are white men, probably older white men. So My answer to my, well, my remedy to this thing is like, first of all, stop waiting on other ethnicities to validate, uh, to give us a sense of worth or whatever. You know, if we look at America, we know what it is, you know, like, <laughs> Black History Month is coming up, okay? We got the shortest month of the year, they, there's going to be this Black History Month. And to hear some folks tell it, and I'm not saying all white people, I'm saying to hear some folks tell it, we've been here 400 years and haven't done a thing but pick cotton. Have not contributed to anything, you know. Never mind the uh, George Washington Carvers, the Benjamin Bannockers, and the Dr. Charles Drews, and people like that. Never mind those people. Never mind brilliant minds like, dare I say it, Barack Obama, Martin Luther King, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois. Never mind that. So, you know, we, this country's had a history of ignoring our accomplishments, so I don't even know why this is even a surprise. I don't know why we have to go through this every year. So, you know, maybe. You know, we should create our own awards, and I know we got, right now we got the Image Awards, and um, which to me is great because, you know, like, and, you know, I guess we all want to be recognized by our own. And it's sad that, uh, you know, like still in America, we are looking at things as we and they. It's sad because, you know, we are, you know, our lives are intertwined, we, you know, whether we like each other or not, you know. And as Dr. King said, we will either learn to live together as brothers or we will perish as fools. But that day we learn to live together as brothers and accept each other on an equal basis has not arrived yet. Um, so, all I'm going to say, my two, my two main points is, like I said, is, uh, we need to make films that are more, substan more substantive. Um, and also, don't look for other people to validate your work because that's just not going to happen right now. And, you know, we live in a time of and that's not happening. So, I guess um, that's pretty much all I want to say on that subject. That's my rant and rave for today.